We're continuing to spotlight Houston's black history with a look at the first black missionary Baptist church built by freed slaves. All that and more happening today on Houston Life. 1866, slaves were freed in Texas, allowing a small group of them to organize the first African-American Baptist church in Houston. I got the great privilege to talk with its current pastor to find out just how special the Antioch Missionary Baptist Church is to the city of Houston. This church is significant in black history in that it was founded by ex-slaves. Now what's really interesting is that it was only seven months after Emancipation uh, Proclamation was received here um, in June 19th, uh, two years later, that seven months after we got the news, those gentlemen, those people established that church just seven months after that. As I was looking around and seeing the church, there's four significant people that are in some of those beautiful windows. Yes. Tell us about those people. These people were the original founder, uh, our, our pastor, Jack Yates. Those men represent Antioch's first four pastors of the church, and they have been there as a symbol of hope and just uh, an idea of where we started. These pews were made by ex-slaves and are designed specifically for the sanctuary. What do you think the church does for people who are going there, knowing that rich history that it brings to this area? I think it does for people today as it did people of yesteryear. Uh, that church served as a beacon of light for the people in the area then as it does today. You know, Joe, uh, Antioch just celebrated its 155th anniversary. Wow. This city is 183 years old. So that, that says how deeply rooted this church is into this city. What do you want people to walk away once they finally leave the church on any given Sunday or any given day that you guys are doing sermons? Yes, our message to, to, to the people of this city and those of them who are following us on social media is a message of hope in that we have been solid in this city, we have been solid in our ministry, and, and that little small patch of grass uh, that we have established 155 years ago is still doing the same things it did then. We're educating. Uh, we've got social uh, programs going on. We're feeding the homeless and clothing the poor. So it's those same things. That, and we invite all people to come down and worship and be a part of the ministry that we have at Antioch. Reverend, thank you so much for spending time with us today and telling us all the great things about the church. And Joe, will I see you on church, church on this summit? You will. You definitely will. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, I got to go get my Sunday's best suit attire so I can go and make it to church on Sunday. Now, the church will be hosting its annual Black History service on the 28th of this month, starting at 1030 a.m., and we'll have a special performance by the Voices of Houston. I'll have a link on our website, HoustonLife.tv, where you can learn more about that special service and the church's rich history. And Courtney and Derek, it's shocking to me because I always run downtown because I live like three minutes away from the church and I would always pass it and see it right there. Never knew that it has so much history right here in Houston, downtown in a beautiful skyline behind it. Such a wonderful church. There's something about walking into that space, mm -hmm. into uh, the church. It's it's calming, but it, you, you almost get the chills walking yeah. in there. I've been in there several times, and mm -hmm. it's just a beautiful building. Knowing that the pews were all built by slaves and the walls that were put up, it really does connect you back to the history. And like yes. you said, you get goosebumps when you're walking in. I love it. It's a beautiful building, a beautiful story. What do you have coming up tomorrow, Joe? So tomorrow is another great story connecting you right back here to Houston's Black History. We're going to be talking about the journey through black history as we continue to figure out what's happening here in Houston at Olive Wood Cemetery. Now, they of course served as the only location for slave burials in Houston back in 1875. We'll find out the importance of the people resting there and what so the cemetery is actually axing people from the community, the community rather, to keep its history preserved. Absolutely. Great Very space. Very nice. Joe Absolutely. Sam, thanks so much. great stuff happening here. I can't wait for the story tomorrow. Us thanks too. so much, Joe. We'll see you.